Coming up today we have an action-packed programme with current players and legends of the SDU. First up we recap Saturday's entertaining 2-2 draw with Cardiff with goal scorer Leon McKenzie. And then later on in the programme we have an exclusive interview with former Sky Blues captain Mo Connich after the launch of the Coventry City Former Players Association. Hello there and welcome back to Sky Blues World. Well Saturday's game had just about everything. Plenty of goals, plenty of cards and plenty of booze for referee Graham Paul. After the game we caught up with striker Leon McKenzie and here's what he had to say on a frustrating afternoon's football. Leon, did you deserve more from today's game? I thought so. Obviously, we had a couple of goals disallowed today. Um, you know, the first one maybe not, but the second one definitely. There's no reason for why that shouldn't have been allowed. It was an eventful game for you, like you say, a goal and then two goals disallowed. Yeah, sure. I mean, that's just the way it goes sometimes. Is, you know, trying my best. But as a team today, I think we're getting that. You know, more direction and we're positive in what we're trying to do, and we passed it about well. And you know, we've got good balls into the front today. And I think that's that's what we get keep keep doing, you know. The manager felt the second goal should have should have stood. Yeah, that's like, like I said, there's no reason for why it shouldn't have, have, have stood. And obviously, when I, I see it go in, it was great. But when he blew the whistle, it was just like, what are you doing, sort of thing. But he's a Premiership ref, referee, um, and uh, maybe he's just uh, <laughs> living off that. Disappointed by his decision today, uh, decisions today. Yeah, of course, yeah. I think ref, pref, Premiership referee or, or not, um, you know, bad decision. Simple as that. On the plus side, it was another improving performance on last weekend's game at Sunderland, and, mm. and the players really fought today. Even at Sunderland last week, I thought the boys played played really well in the stages, and probably should have got more from from that particular game. Unfortunate, you know, it wasn't meant to be. But um, I think we're showing that you know we're trying to do the right things and trying to play a bit of football. And um, all credit to Adrian Heath. I mean, the players are right behind him, aren't they? <coughs> yeah, we can see in the performances we're we're trying and. Um, individually and hopefully um, it will work out. It just wasn't our day today at certain stages and that it summed it up more when uh, when they got the penalty and it came just after Michael Misford at the post. Well I think it was our day but it just wasn't the referee's day. Simple as that. Before the game saw the launch of the Coventry City Former Players Association, a scheme aimed at bringing Sky Blues legends of the past back to the Rico Arena. Over 40 former players were invited back as guests of honour and they included the likes of 60s star George Hudson, 1987 FA Cup final winner Cyril Regis, and a more recent fans' favourite in big Bosnian Mo Konjic. And it's all down to this man, club historian Jim Brown. Jim, first of all, just tell us what this day means to you. Well, this is the uh, culmination of um, all my hopes and dreams, really, to get all of these Coventry City former players together uh, in one place. It's just uh, breathtaking, really. We spoke to you earlier and the word that you actually used was overwhelmed. Did you yeah. expect to see so many players turn out today? Well, I hope that I hope they'd all come and, and the majority have come, but it, even so, I couldn't imagine how I'd feel when I saw them all. I was just speechless, really. As a fan, which players were you most excited about seeing today? Well, George Hudson was one of my heroes as a boy and it's great to see him back here for the first time in over 40 years. And also Colin Steen, who was a hero in the 70s. Great to see him here. So the Coventry City Former Players Association, how did it all come about? Well, it's an idea that a few of us have had for a few years, but the climate really hasn't been right. Now the club are putting much more emphasis on its history. And Paul Fletcher supported our ideas to set up an association. And uh, this is the culmination of it. So it's the first time of many, hopefully. It is the first time of many. We intend uh, organising lots of dinners, uh, reunion dinners, uh, golf days, other events, and also where the, the fans can uh, mix with the former players as well. And all, all former players will be welcome here for any home game. Jim, thank you. Thank you. Mo, what does it feel like to be back at Country City today? Oh, it's dream come true. I'm so excited. It's beautiful stadium and beautiful people. I don't know. I don't know how to say hello and thank you. Thank you for everything because I'm so happy, man. The last two hours is my best hour in the last two or three years. I'm so happy to be here and I just want this day to be as long as possible. I wish Coventry all the best because this club deserves best. With this stadium, Premiership must be in the next two or three years, hopefully. And you've seen the reaction that you got from the fans singing as soon as you came out onto the pitch. Have you missed that? Definitely. Last two years, I never find chance to come back because in my own mind, even if it's not my decision to leave the club, I always feel guilty because 
supported. They give me so much support in, in the last five or six years. And I should say thank you, but I never find perfect chance. This is perfect opportunity and thank you very much for, for this opportunity to take it all. Obviously, we know that you left here to go to Derby. What have you been doing since you left Derby County? Uh, the last three months, I take my UEFA B badge and uh, UEFA A badge. Next year or two, I'm trying to finish my UEFA Profi and see in the next two, three years, I try to catch up a little bit my education and everything. I have football enthusiasm, I love football, but hopefully I will know to show other children and people how to play football. If it's not right, who knows, maybe future manager, but if it's not not to play, I will just be a supporter. Ideal situation, then you'll come back to Country City as manager one day. That will be more than dream, but that's too far. So far, I'm enjoying to be a Coventry fan, and that's, that's enough for me so far. Well, that's it for today's programme, but we'll be back soon as we begin all the pre-match build-up out of Saturday's trip to local rivals Leicester.